In this video, we'll discuss important points for safe use of cloth face coverings. Respirators and surgical masks are important tools for healthcare providers. Cloth face coverings allow non-healthcare providers to stay safe without impacting critical healthcare supplies during a pandemic or epidemic in our community. Wearing a cloth face covering will contain most droplets that are spread during common activities such as talking, singing, coughing, and sneezing. The first step in putting on or removing a face cover should always be cleaning your hands. Use hand sanitizer or wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds. Be sure you rub all surfaces of your hands as you clean them. Place the mask on your face using the ties, straps, or ear loops provided. To make removing the face covering easier, ties should be secured in a bow rather than a knot. Some face covers have more than one strap or tie. Always use both to ensure a snug fit against the face. The face covering should cover your nose and mouth completely. If your face cover includes a bendable nose piece, use both hands to form it to your nose and cheeks. Straps and ties should not be left hanging. If you need to adjust your face cover, it is important to clean your hands before you make any adjustments. The face cover should always be considered contaminated. Adjustments should be made by touching only the straps, ties, or ear loops. After adjusting your face cover, clean your hands. If your face cover becomes difficult to breathe through or feels moist while you are away from home, you should consider changing it. Removing a face cover should be done slowly. This will prevent self-contamination. If you are not going to reuse your face cover that same day, it should be laundered before reuse. To remove your face cover, grasp the ties, elastic strap, or ear loops toward the back of your head and pull the cover away from your face slowly. If your cover has ties, loosen the bottom tie first so the mask does not drop down onto your clothing. Avoid touching the interior and exterior of the face cover material. If you are required to wear a face covering while at work, or you are going to multiple locations in one trip, you might need to reuse the same face covering. If you need to reuse your face cover, place a clean paper towel on a flat surface to place your face cover onto once removed. Be sure to place the contaminated outer surface of the face cover down on the paper towel. The straps or ties should not contact the inner surface of the face cover as they may be contaminated. If this does happen, store the face cover for later laundering and use a new cover. Do not place the face covering on the paper with the exterior facing outward. Avoid touching the interior and exterior of the face cover material. Do not fold the face covering when stored on the paper towel. When you are ready to put your face cover on again, begin by cleaning your hands. Handle the face cover along the edges, straps, or ties only to minimize contamination to the hands. Readjust the face cover for comfort. Finally, Clean your hands when finished. Clean your hands. Place the face cover using the ties, straps, or ear loops provided.
adjust as needed. Remove the face cover, touching only ties, straps or ear loops. Place on a paper towel, exterior facing down. The face cover material is considered contaminated. Do not touch the face cover material when removing. Do not fold the face cover prior to placing on the paper towel. Clean your hands. Place the face cover touching only straps, ties or ear loops. Clean your hands. Use of face coverings may be a common practice as we return to work and other social interactions after a pandemic or epidemic. Be safe and mindful as you use your face covering.